Dude, it is miserable out. Oh my God. I don't like it. I miss when it was like a hundred degrees. I see a chicken. Chicken? Mm! It's cold. All right, we're gonna National Geographic this shit. I gotta, I have to kneel and, and wait for the animal to come to me. Here he comes. Everyone be still. Be quiet. Now we wait. You wanna see camera? Camera. Strap. Do you like it? You have hay in your mouth. Holy shit. I'm not made for this. Me in like 50 degrees. Baby cow! Zombie, you wanna do another one? Maybe we could do one from down here. We could take a cool angle like this. It's gonna look really cool. Oh God, my hood's in the way. Oh, he's scary. Wait, stand up. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Develops, developing. That's gonna be a good one. I can feel it in my bones. I went a hose and donated five dollars. The emu goes bell 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 Thank you. Donk! We're gonna have to go up and get more film. I only have two pictures left in here. Donk! Be still. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's a flash. Did it scare you? It's a picture. People pop, wow. W4 Catapulvus up for the first time. Camera. That's nice. Hi, buddy. Okay, don't. It's really just breathe on the lens a lot. Here, now you can look at it. Should I do an Acero one? Acero. Big cheese. Look over here. Look over here. Amazing. All right, let's go get more film. Oh my God. <laughs> the stompy one's so good. Okay. This is the stompy one that's going to Zora. Huge. Excellent. Um, this is the second stompy one that I took from below. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. And then this is the jalapeno one. It's a little bright. I think I'm learning. But there he is. I'm gonna sign them. Oh wait, the first one's blank. People talk, wow. Campy resupped for five months. Smile, smile, smile. Thank you. Hi, right, George. You ready? This surely must be over him. We'll find out. Okay, hopefully 14, but we'll see. We have 13 here. Oh yeah, it's square, it's right on. <laughs> People pop, 
That's a good picture. SPM underscore unleashed sub for the first time. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. There was an action shot. I captured his essence. Hi Finn, how you doing? Um, for the Alveus viewers here today, um, Finn had a bit of a scare the other night. Uh, he got bit by something, we think, on the cams, and he like freaked the frick out, <laughs> okay? He like jumped in the air and flailed around and spun in circles and was freaking out. And people thought that he was having a seizure. For Cathy Pulver just gifted 50 tier one subs. 50? Who bit Finn? No, not, he didn't get bit by, he got bit by like a bug, we think. Um, maybe like a fire ant or something, I don't know. Um, but he, he freaked out. <laughs> and so chat thought he was having a seizure. Good Lord. Um, he was not having a seizure. Uh, we gave him some Benadryl at night uh, and now he's like completely fine and normal and we don't see any swelling anywhere, so. Hi, bud. A picture? Wow. Uh, Rebecca yeah. underscore H9 resubbed for 29 nice. months. Thanks. Wow. I got one from up here. Ready? Oh, you're a little close. Can you, <laughs> can you sit? Oh. That was nice, thank you. I'm so sorry, I don't have any treats. Good job. It's a Polaroid. You can't take it though. I know you want to, but you can't take this. Reed, Reed, hey, come here. Oh, Reed hates it. There's only one Polaroid of Reed that will exist. <laughs> it spooked him. Good job, buddy. It's just a, it's a camera. <laughs> you can't take it, but you can smell it. Don't take, don't take, don't take it. I'm just kidding, he's gonna bite it and try to run away. Okay. <laughs> What do you think? All right, let's look at some of these. He's pooping. Oh, that's a good picture. Shoot. Oh my God. Cute. Oh, he blinked. <laughs> Damn it. Resubbed for 39 months. All right, we'll see them when they're developed inside. Can I, should I come over there? You wanna come down here? I'll come over there. Reed, don't freak out. Taking a picture of Finn. Taking a picture of him sitting. He's stay. Thank you. So nice. Really nice. A lick. Thanks. Is it yummy? Wow. Someone said, why not free them all? Honest question. Um, assuming that really is an honest question. <laughs> uh, no, all of the animals at Alveus are non-releasable. Um, the foxes, because we were just in here, are non-releasable because they were born and raised in captivity. Um, Finn was bred for the illegal pet trade, was raised in someone's house as their pet, and then um, he was confiscated by California Department of Fish and Wildlife. So he was bred in captivity, born into captivity, raised in captivity, uh, which is really unfortunate because um, all of the animals that we have at Alveus, we would love nothing more for them to be wild animals like they're supposed to be, except for obviously our domestics. like. Our chickens. Um, hi, buddy. Thank you. Um, Reed as well. He was born in the wild. Um, thank you for the 14 months. But he was raised by people, uh, raised by wildlife rehabbers, and then wasn't able to learn how to take care of himself in the wild. Um, so releasing them would mean they wouldn't make it because they don't know how to take care of themselves, right? Um, our crows, for example, both born in the wild, uh, blown out of their nests by a storm though, and raised by people in captivity. They unfortunately imprinted on people. There are situations where wildlife rehabbers can raise wild birds as babies and not imprint them. Unfortunately, that's not how it went with these two birds. They did try releasing Abbott, uh, and he ended up in a park a couple miles away, a couple days later, landing on people, screaming at them, begging for food, because he associates food with people and didn't know how to find food by himself and didn't know how to take care of himself. So for him, he's really lucky that he came back looking for food. Otherwise he would have just starved probably and died that way or died to predation in the wild. So the ones, all of the animals that we have here, their options are either remain under human care. Um, so we take care of them 
or um, euthanasia. And for these animals that are relatively comfortable with people or were raised by people even, it makes way more sense for them to remain under human care and teach you guys about them.